Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with the guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guests, blues band Red, White, and Blues. And now, on with the show. Happy days are here again. The skies above are clear again. Let us sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here again. All together, shout it now. There's no one who can doubt it now. So let's tell the world about it now. Happy days are here again. Your cares and troubles are gone. There'll be no more from now on. Happy days are here again. The skies above are clear again. So let's sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here again. Your cares and troubles are gone. There'll be no more from now on. Happy days are here again. The skies above are clear again. Let us sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here again. Happy days are here again. Written by Jack Yellen and Milton Agar for the MGM film Chasing Rainbows. And now, here are the two very happy musicians at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> at the keyboard, Mike Yanuzzi. And we're opening our show tonight with songs written by Jack Yellen and Milton Agar, two of Tin Pan Alley's top tunesmiths. Lyricist Jack Yellen and composer Milton Agar gave us many great tunes, including this one. Ain't she sweet? See her coming down the street. Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Ain't she nice? Look her over once or twice. And I ask you very confidentially, ain't she nice? Just cast and hide in her direction. Oh me, oh my, ain't that perfection? Some confection I repeat. Don't you think that's kind of neat? And I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Newsy, thank you for helping me celebrate the music and lyrics of Milton Agar and Jack Yellen. You know, those two songs we opened up with, Happy Days Are Here Again and Ain't She Sweet, I had the pleasure of recording both of those tunes on my first album, The Roaring Twenties, Roar Again, there you go. which, as you know, I recorded back in 1986, and it's recently come out on CD. 
So it's available now. But the interesting thing is when I recorded Roaring Twenties back in 1986 with the 14 songs of the 1920s, only one of the songwriters was still alive at the time, and that was Jack Yellen. And I read in Jack O'Brien's column in the summer of 1987 that songwriter Jack Yellen had celebrated his 95th birthday. I well, didn't know his address, but as you remember, Jack O'Brien used to have his yeah, column, yeah, The Voice yeah. of Broadway. He was syndicated all over the country, yeah. and it would appear here in the local Star Ledger. So I wrote to Jack O'Brien. I sent him a copy of the album, Roaring Twenties, and I sent him an extra copy of the album. I said, please send this to Jack Yellen, the songwriter for his 95th birthday. Not only did he do that, but there was a little write-up in the column. Mm. This is from 1987, and I'm going to read it to you now. It says, Nostalgia Maven Steve Ames' Roaring Twenties album includes a lovely 95th birthday, July 6th, gift for ASCAP's Jack Yellen. Jack's happy days are here again. Ain't she sweet? And I'm looking over a four-leaf clover. Sweet indeed. So that's from Jack O'Brien's Voice of Broadway yeah, nice. from 1987. So I love to sing the songs of Jack Yellen and Milton Agar. By the way, Jack Yellen lived to be 99, and he worked with Sophie Tucker for decades. He wrote all the special material for Sophie Tucker's songs from the 1920s through the 1950s and 60s. Very prolific songwriter indeed. So it's my pleasure to pay tribute to Jack Yellen, the lyricist, and Milton Agar, the composer. Now let's talk about Sandy Renda, the guitarist. What have you been up to lately? Well, we're now putting to, uh, together a show which, is, uh, which will be uh, hosted at the Opria House in Clifton, New Jersey, the uh, home of the State Opera. And it's a show I always wanted to do uh, with New Memory uh, Production Company, uh, which features the whole band, Mike Yanuzzi especially, our female singer, Donna. Uh, we're adding our friend, Dennis Lascala. We have a trumpet player and a six-piece band. We have a, a very, very big mix of music. It's a Valentine show. So we'll be doing some love songs to start off, and we have a, uh, a, a very big, big mix of music, and I like to call it um, an exciting trip through a musical journey. I like that title. I think I have it right. Wow. So, so we've got Sandy right. and the Wanderers <laughs> comprising of six musicians. So actually se seven, seven musicians and four singers. Right. So we're going to do four-part harmony. We're going to do uh, uh, some uh, novelty songs. We're going to do songs uh, that Connie Francis made so popular, Bobby Rydell. Uh, Mike here is going to do the Jersey Boys. So we have a big oh, mix yes. of stuff. Oh, yes. Very good. And Very I'm going to check the website. Yeah, check our website. Our website. Yeah. Check our website. Sandy, www.sandyandthewanderers.com. One more time. www. Sandy and the Wanderers dot com. Very good. And here's one of the Wanderers right now, Mike Yanuzzi. You've been Thank busy you, with a lot of Christmas shows, haven't We've you? We've been this holiday yep, season. Absolutely. Tell us about it. Well, I've been busy with Sandy, of course, and uh, you know, I also sing with the Zephyr Vocal Ensemble, and we we just had our uh, our Christmas concert earlier this month. Uh, and in early December, and we've been, you know, Christmas time making several appearances in different festivals and things. It's an a cappella group, so we travel light, thank goodness. Very good. Um, you don't have too to too old to carry the equipment. equipment. And, and what's the most there. requested Christmas song? Um, that we do, we, do a, we do a version that was arranged by uh, an Irish um, composer and arranger, Michael McGlynn, of Silent Night. Um, Beautiful. There's a group you may have seen on PBS called Anuna. Uh, they're, uh, they go along with the Celtic origins and that kind of thing. And he is part of that group, and he's some, done some very beautiful vocal arrangements, and the one that we've been doing most of his, and that we get requested now a lot. How for many members night. in the Zephyr music group? Uh, right now, there's nine. Nine. We've, we've been trying to fill some positions. We have a max of 14. Uh, well, we of could 14. fit nine people well, in here. We'll have you on the show yeah. sometime. If we can I get them all here at one time, we should. Holiday, Absolutely. We're going to have you on. Okay. Now, I'll, for I'll, tonight, I'll, Sandy, what's the musical number? Well, we've always done this song in the band for, for a long time, a great song, great standard, that we did our own blues, <clears throat> blues jazz arrangement, four-part harmonies with the, uh, the voices and the whole band, Georgia On My Mind. Now, tonight we'll do it uh, just with us, too. Jazzy and bluesy also. Written by Hoagie Carmichael. Right. Here are Sandy and Mike with Georgia On My Mind.
please welcome our very special guests this evening, making their television debut, a very talented blues band. Here are Red, White, and Blues. Unchain my heart Baby, let me be Cause you don't care Please set me free Unchain my heart Baby, let me go Unchain my heart Cause you don't love me no more Every time I call you on the phone, some woman tells me that you're not at home. Unchain my heart, baby, set me free. Unchain my heart. Let me go my way. Unchain my heart. You worry me night and day. You got me sewn up like a pillowcase. Unchain my heart, baby, set me free. I'm under your spell, like I was in a trance. But I know darn well that I don't stand a chance. Unchain my heart. Unchain my heart, baby, set me free. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Bob, thank you very much. Thank you. And we love that song, Red, White, and Blues, Blues Band. Tell us who wrote that song. Well, that was a Ray Charles song. That was Unchain My Heart from the early days of Ray Charles's career. Wonderful, wonderful song. Right. Now, how long has the band been together? We've been together uh, just over four years in the configuration we are now. Bob and I were introduced by a mutual friend of ours. Um, he had the band up and running before I joined, but uh, it's been quite an interesting experience. And then you picked up the other talented musicians. Now, Mike Madden has been on my show before. Mike Madden was here about a year and a half ago with Billy Young, the country singer. So you picked up Mike recently, right? Yes, we picked up Mike just a few months ago. He's a real good bass player, a steady backbeat. Very good, yes. And, and Fred, how long has he been with the group? What's Fred been with us? Fred's going on three years, if I'm not mistaken. I, I met him at a blues jam in Hoboken, and I asked him if he was in a band. He said no. I said, would you like to be? And he said yes. Very good. Very good. And he's, quite frankly, he's the best drummer we ever had. You all sound great, I must Thank say that. Thank now, you. you also have a television show, Marcy. Yes, I have a show on Bay Bayonne Cablevision, Channel 19 in Bayonne. 
It's called The Mighty Unk Show, and Unk is the host. And our show showcases singer-songwriters. We only do original music, and so any singer-songwriters who come on are free to play five or six of their songs with our house band. And how many shows do you do a month? Uh, a month. That's an interesting question. We're on once a week. Okay. So we we don't do all that many shows because, uh, as you know, so it you takes replay. A while, but we the, replay as the often, necessary. Uh, shows. That's great. Right. That sounds very very interesting. And how many songs in the repertoire of Red, White, and Blues? Oh gosh, we've got fifty or sixty songs now. I mean, we're the reason we didn't do any standard blues on the show is that uh, we're limited to time and as you know blues songs can get real jammy and go on for eight and nine that's minutes, right and on we TV, really you have to keep it shorter exactly we have to be very that's careful right. about time also it's a good idea to diversify what we do because uh, these days it's tough uh, it's it's tough finding gigs and if you bill yourself as a as a blues band only you're going to limit yourself to the places you can play. So you can play weddings and functions and oh, all yeah. type of occasions. Absolutely. We do a lot of rhythm and blues, which is our our roots is what we love besides blues. And music for dancing. You could. Oh, yes. absolutely. Absolutely. That's good. standards. Ab absolutely. The whole nine yards. Right. We well, you it. both not only sound great, but you look terrific, you oh, know. Thank you. Much. And uh, you were telling me that you buy your clothes in a very special place, right? I go to a place in, in Elizabeth called Elite Mail. It's right next to the New Jersey Department <laughs> of Labor. It's hard to get hats anymore, you know. Right. It's very difficult to I get used hats to in. buy my hats in New York City, but they closed the hat store where well, I got the hat right. from. I, I, I like fedoras, but I like real fedoras. I don't, I don't like, um, I like real hair fedoras. Is not like um, newsboy caps. I also like. I well, you look very court. snazzy. The Thank whole you outfit. Very, very Maybe much. you can get the shoes, Jerry. Can you get those <laughs> shoes on the screen over Thank there? You very much. Well, we love your music. What's the next number going to be? The next number we're going to do is a Buddy Holly number called "Not Fade Away." Very good. Looking forward to hearing it. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for having us. And thank you, Mike and Fred. And let's hear it for Red, White, and Blues. <laughs> songs Eddie Cantor introduced in his long career, this next one was his personal favorite, and it's mine too. Eddie introduced it on Broadway in the Ziegfeld show Whoopi, and here it is with music and lyrics by Walter Donaldson and Gus Kahn. Another bride, another groom, 
Another sunny honeymoon Another reason Another season For making whoopee The choir sings Here comes the bride Another victim Is by her side He's lost his reason Cause it's the season For making whoopee Down through the countless ages You'll find it everywhere Somebody makes good wages Somebody wants her share She calls him Toodles And rolls her eyes She makes him strudels And bakes him pies What is it all for? It's so he'll fall for Making whoopee Another year or maybe less what's this I hear well can't you guess she feels neglected and he suspected of making whoopee he comes home late most every night he doesn't phone or even write he says he's busy but she says, is he? He's making whoopee. Now he doesn't make much money. Only $5,000 per. Some judge who thinks he's funny says you'll pay six to her. He says, now judge, suppose I fail. The judge says, budge, right into jail. You'd better keep her. You'll find it cheaper than making whoopee. <laughs> After all these years, people are still making whoopee. Memories of Eddie Cantor. By the way, Eddie Cantor's grandson, Brian Gary, lives in New York City, and he's a good friend of mine. Brian is also a songwriter and an author, and he's just written a book entitled, A Funny Thing Happened on My Way to the Stress Test. We're showing a cover of the book right now on the screen with a picture of Brian when he was two years old taken in 1954 with his grandfather, Eddie Cantor. So good luck to Brian with the book, and we'd like to close our show tonight with the song that Eddie Cantor used to close his radio shows with, and here it is. I love to spend this Tuesday with you as friend to friend. I'm sorry it's through I'm telling you Just how I feel I hope you feel That way too Let's make a date For next time we meet I'm here to state We'll have quite a treat To bring again Sing again the things you want me to. I love to spend this Tuesday with you. Thank you. Good night.